what's going on YouTube my name is Henry from HZ gaming for you and today I got something special for you guys um, I want to show you guys a special type of fighter uh, it was a, a fighter that's put together by different styles uh, I often get a lot of questions asking me what is the best style what's the best height reach uh, if they should go with a boxer puncher, if they should go with an outside fighter, brawler, and uh, unconventional, and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, what I'm trying to do here is show you guys a special kind of fighter that I built that have been giving me lots of success. Um, and I want to share it with you guys. Maybe it's a good style for you guys. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the stats right here so you can follow along and uh, maybe create a fighter. Uh, of the stats in the near future and uh, maybe I'll show you a fight on the next video so you can see how you know how this combination of style uh, will work often uh, you guys know uh, I'm always testing different styles I test uh, counter puncher a lot a lot of time most of my most of my boxers are counter punchers um, I also like boxer puncher uh, but also since uh, I like to attack people um, and I'm uh, very familiar with going forward. I also like to brawl and get inside fighters. So for this instance what I'm trying to do is create a fighter that is strong enough to handle himself inside or he could be a dominant fighter inside but also be a successful outside fighter even if, uh, if they sacrifices uh, some speed and agility. So this guy right here, the, it's a guy that I created a few um, Probably uh, a few months ago, two months ago, and I've been, you know, just fighting with him in the heavyweight division. I'm gonna show you guys the stats. He is a heavyweight fighter. The body type is athletic. The reason why I made athletic is because he gives you more agility. Remember, uh, when you're when you are a uh, an inside fighter, uh, you lose agility. So by keeping him athletic and not muscular. Uh, will keep him uh, a little bit slicker to dodge punches uh, rip keep him ripped you know just so he could be more in shape uh, for the heavyweight division as you guys know uh, uh, six eight is the maximum so for this fighter I'm gonna go ahead and use six five uh, but I'm probably gonna drop him one inch I'm gonna go with six four and then uh, 260 pounds give him all the weight so that's what really counts the weight that's where this game you know kind of gives you uh, that little weight advantage to push people in you know your punches will penetrate a little bit more when you have weight so uh, yeah so uh, yeah that's a little tip there and uh, everything else you can keep on whatever you want so uh, tattoos you know just pimp them up <laughs> clothes you know better you want some sick ass clothes you know as you can see here I'm I don't dress stuff like Chicago Bulls. I'm from Chicago. I got the Jordan. You know? So, uh, style. Here we go. I'm an orthodox. Um, inside fighter. Inside fighter gives you more strength. And it sacrifices the speed. And it also gives you a little bit less conditioning. Just a little bit less than the, <clears throat> than the brawler or the boxing puncher. Um... As you can see, I got speed. Speed gives him elusiveness. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the right side there. Uh, he stay flinching, so that kind of helps you. You know, he kind of naturally goes down and, and avoids punches uh, when you drop your hands sometimes. So that's a tip there. Uh, that I learned that in some forums. So uh, you know, kind of speed keeps him jumping around when you don't block. Um, Philly shell. That's the speed uh, kind of you know to respond back. And the Roy Jones. Um, Roy Jones, uh, Roy Jones Jr. punches. The, re the reason why I choose Roy Jones is because since you're an inside fighter, and there's an interesting part here. You're an inside fighter, but the Roy Jones style gives you a good jab and a devastating straight, and also got great hooks. It has awesome hooks to the head and awesome hooks to the body. Uh, if you guys don't know that, uh, Roy Jones was a huge, huge, huge hooker. <laughs> like you, Roy Jones Jr. used to murder people with hooks to the body 
and, and, and to the face. So his punches are well thrown, and his uppercuts ain't that bad. They're kind of short, but they're bad. They're badass too. So this gives your power puncher, your inside fighter, gives him a little more lucid, a little more lucidness, and uh, kind of transform him into a mid-range boxer. You know, uh, which means that you know you could fight mid-range and jab people and straight them, and you could also fight from the inside when they attack you, because they probably have no idea you're an inside fighter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, <clears throat> uh, body snatcher, right here. What you want to do with this AI? Is people, people see this as a joke. This is not a joke, people. AI. Whoever doesn't know what AI stands for is artificial intelligence. Okay, that means your boxer will act this way. Like he'll be, he'll be more, more, you know, willing to do this stuff that you set here. So if you set something up here and you don't follow it exactly, that means your boxer could probably not be responding as the way that you want him to respond. For example, if you if you are a, uh, a guy that likes to throw a lot of hooks to the body, and I go and put this, I'm a head hunter because I want to knock out people. That's not what it means. This means that your boxer now is expected to throw more punches to the uh, to the face and not to the body. So if you're a guy that throws to the body, make sure you put this all the way down you know to like 30 percent but for my boxer here i want him to be both kind of like gonna be a head hunter but i'm not gonna put too much to the body because he's already a power puncher remember he's an inside fighter so i'm gonna put him like at 60 percent here towards head counter puncher aggressiveness so here you might want to give him a little counter puncher but keep him aggressive you don't want to have him like either you know like just that they expect you to just stay there and, and counter because that's what it's all about it's artificial intelligence single punch combination i like to throw a lot of combinations i'll keep it there at 90 percent fast punches hard punches so now you're gonna be punching hard i'll keep this like at 75 percent fast punches and, and hard punches yep still hit you know actually you know i'm gonna put it towards a little fast because this fighter is already super strong. Yeah, make him more elusive, you know, more inside fighter, outside fighter here. See, you're an inside fighter, but here you want to put it towards like 65% towards outside. This tells your boxer that you're kind of like an outside fighter. This mid-range right here. Outside will be full or 90%. This right here is like mid-range. So this, actually I'm going to put it here. He's still gonna be great from the inside naturally. Cause it's an inside fighter, remember. So uh, never clinches, whatever. This I don't ever clinch, so I, but I keep it there always. Blocks punches, moves head. Here I'm gonna put it like 55% towards move head. That that way your boxer is expected to move your head around. I do that a lot. It keeps your boxer elusive. You know, it makes your boxer more elusive. If you put this towards block punches all the way, then you're gonna have to pump block only. And once you start moving your head, they, they could hit you. Because your box is not that intelligent doing that. Remember, never a town. Towns often, right? Tom keeps your boxer cool, you know, like in the cool side. He likes to uh, showboat, you know. So it keeps him cool, more speedy. Plunder, mover. See right here, you put it towards mover. Plunder is when you just stay there. When you just stay there, and you just, you know, start like, like stepping or go forward, you know. Uh, mover somebody moves around the ring you know just moving around so I put this towards mover right here like 60% fight often fight clean here I like hooks and jab and straights like there I like my left uppercut and my right uppercut fight back okay here fight back means that when you're dizzy you know, you could kind of throw jabs or kind of block and move around. If you put them clinch, your box is expected to clinch. Once you're dizzy, you're supposed to clinch. If not, you're in trouble. So I hope you guys take this tip. Uh, don't put clinch. Put fight back. That way you could like go back and, and uh, jab them two times and then block again. Start pump blocking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and, you know, just save it there.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a box of growth. So you guys can see this. Alright. So you can see here, um, first I want to start with athletic packs. If you first thing I always recommend people to do, grab all six of these gold strength boots you know or, or the all the gold medals just make sure you have these because this will maximize your boxer physical condition it's like in real life you could have hard punches right you could have tough defense but if you don't have no condition which is this right here in total then this has what is this for nothing you know this you hit hard and stuff but but uh, you're not you're not in shape. This gets you in shape. This gets you maximum. Look, gets your inside fighter 99 strength. This means that you, your punches are gonna penetrate more. Like the higher the strength is, the more your punches penetrate. That's just some people ask me why everybody pump block my punches all the time. Well, try an inside fighter or a brawler, you know, because they penetrate punches. So strength 99. My my guy is a mid range, but he's powerful. Sacrifice speed. See, even though I got six 92, but look what happens if I didn't have no packs. I'm at 86 speed now. I can't, I cannot have an inside fighter. If I have an inside fighter, I'm gonna be so slow that it's gonna be crazy. That's why you gotta have the gold pack 92. Boom, now you're you're pretty fast, you're decently fast. In, then endurance and conditioning 94, 95, and toughness. Toughness is punches to the body. I mean, to the face. How much your boxer could take to the face without getting dizzy, or, or getting flash knocked down, or or getting you know a critical stun. You know what I'm saying? So uh, see, without this, he's still 90. We'll be at 92. If you put the gold, it'll be 98. Reflexes. You need the gold. If you're gonna have an inside fighter. And you don't have any packs on reflexes. Look, you're 86. Reflexes are that's the time where your punches go back up after you throw a punch. How fast your boxer puts his guard up that's a reflex, you know. So, yeah, important. If you have all six, try this combination of boxes that I'm talking about here. If you don't have all six of this, then it's not gonna be exactly like the like, like I'm showing you guys on this video, okay? So has to be all six of them. All right, let me carnish. Carnish, I'm doing a video. <laughs> there you go. Uh, right here, I put jab. I put at 11. Increases the opponent. You know, for uh, increases the chances for your opponent. Still perform. Okay, that means that. Yeah, your opponent. There's a good chance for it that the second punch you throw right be right after the jab is gonna go through. So it's pretty good here. You always want to have at least two punches in your arsenal that are full, so you can have that pop and, and get that flash knockdowns. Not the one punch KOs. The flash knockdowns happen when you get 20. You could get a one you know one punch knockdown with even these. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I got my, my straight up. That's my favorite um, weapon. Everybody's favorite weapon, getaway weapon. Left hooks are at 15, which is solid. Plus. 15 plus the 99 strength of your boxer, remember. Um, upper, left upper cuts, I should have put this higher. I'm, I'm working on it. See, I still got 15 squares to go. I'm gonna put my left upper cut like here, you know what I'm saying, and work on my body. Maybe put this one here and this one here. Yeah, so um, right upper cut, full, uh, straight to the body, whatever you like, you guys like here. Whatever you guys like to the body, if you eat. I highly recommend if you have an inside fighter to have your left hook to the body and right hook to the body up. Put them at least here, 11 and 11. You know, this will give you, you know, yeah, you, you got space for that. And uh, this left uppercut and right uppercut, just keep them here and here. At least you get that uh, minor stun, at least. But uppercuts, uh, 
not for this type of fighter that we're trying to create. Combination has to be up here. I'm probably going to end up at full. And that's going to complete my 20 squares. Okay, so this is going to be full. This is going to be full blocking, full head movement, full chin. And, um, and the heart is at 16. You know what? I'll probably sacrifice two punches of the uppercuts. Or I probably got space and put like two more here, at least to 18. It says uh, your resistance to the body, man. So yeah, put it it's here. And you're going to be all set. You're going to have a nice 90 overall fighter. Um, I think 91. Yeah, inside fighters are 91 overall. You're going to have a strong fighter, solid fighter. And he's going to be uh, fast and powerful at the same time. So uh, yeah, what you do here. Just apply the changes and stuff. <clears throat> so I told you guys I've been playing on and off uh, with this with this account. As you can see, using this style, my fighter is uh, 40 wins, four losses, 26 KOs. Uh, you know, of course, you know a lot of people quit the game, but I yeah, as you can see here, like uh, I have a few decision wins as well. Which means that you know you might, by having this box the way it is, you can still conserve stamina, and you can still fight from the outside. So, on the next video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, a fight. You know, um, just uh, take this guy into a fight, and so you guys can see uh, what how this combination goes in live OWC. Until next time, video. Watch the next video. Peace.